I like it to go up about a two foot and then drop down a two foot and then come up like this. And it's a crayfish type thing or a wounded minnow, whatever. Just something that's going up and down. It's a slow water or slow retrieve. So what you do is you just pick up and then it's critical that you strip that excess. You don't strip so fast that you impede the drop of the fly. You simply pick up and then let it drop. And that's when it's so critical that you're strip. So you throw it out, you, you, you do your jig up, and then you strip at exactly the speed you think the fly is dropping. I'm letting this fly, I'm using a sinking line, and I'm just picking up, but the one thing you watch is you, you lift your rod, you're just trying to get the, you're picking the fly up and down, but you make sure you slip that excess out of there. I took it from the bank. I worked the bank out two or three foot and didn't get any, and now I'm just gonna let it dive. You can lose some flies this way, by the way. But I let it get down, and I got a tight line. Now I'm gonna do a double step up, and you see I strip all that excess, and you watch that line right where it goes in. If you're picking up and you get an eat, you'll be golden. If you're dropping and you give a bunch of slack, they eat it on the drop a lot. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kinda do a modified here. I'm, I'm just kinda slow jigging back and forth there. But you watch your line where it goes in the water. This, it's hard to do with a sinking line because the line's dark. But you just watch it, Any, you know, just like an indicator. And if it moves, man, slam it. You're looking, nope. The key is to keep your, you're still keeping a low rod when you do that. Even if you're picking it up and you're, you're, you're thrumming the rod like this, you notice that every time I do that, because I'm slowing my retrieve and I'm trying to get a whole different action out of the fly, I'm trying to get it to go up and down right now instead of just in one level but I still continuously have the rod pointing at the fly. Be cognizant of the fact that it's not always the same. A cold, cloudy day like this, where the water's cooled down, you might have to slow things down, do a little of that modified vertical jerk strip like that. You get on a hot, sunny day, and the fish are just railing everything, and you're just as fast as you can do with a jerk strip. You've got to adapt, whichever one the day tells you. It's just like when we switch the flies. You switch the fly to find the color they like. Once you find that, if they're not eating the color and you're going through everything, you've got to adapt your cast and your retrieve and decide which one works best for that day. If you do that, I guarantee you're going to catch more fish. And as usual, thanks to Kelly Gallup for sharing his fishing knowledge and friends so that we all can be better anglers.